Yeah, g'day viewers. Just thought I'd like to show you another one of these Soviet BFD clocks that I received a while ago. And uh, this one was dead on arrival when I received it. Uh, I think the clock had been dropped at some stage and the sealing tip on the VFD had, had cracked and let the air in. Now the problem I had with this one is I'm unable to find a direct replacement on the net for it. A little bit smaller than the other types and also carries 34 pins on this one. So I thought to get this clock going I might as well just try and uh, do a bit of a bodgy. So I decided to use uh, one of the more common uh, types of Soviet displays and this one has 16 pins on board. So I mapped out the original display, just a bit of a rough diagram to work out uh, where the connections go to the segments, then compared it to the other one, the older display, and I then uh, made a plan to uh, wire up the display into the clock. So this is how you basically end up with a Franken clock, I suppose. So I have a little clock. Yeah, there we are. 1993 was the manufacture date. So I connected up the display, ran the lead wires into the case onto the circuit board, and it came up rather well actually. So we've got the clock functions here. Set your minutes, hours, seconds, Anyway, it's a little bit rough, but it does the job well with this clock. Oh, yeah, if you have a little projects, I might as well have a look at while having a bit of a look at the bench. On these old neon lamps, I'm just running on a DC power supply. As you can see, being on DC, only one half of the electrodes are illuminated. Got some more neons over here that are. I'll just sort of uh, wire up with some resistors, hang off 240 volts. Not very safe. And an old 1920s carbon filament lamp that I've got. I'm just running that one through the Variac over here. Yeah, I start up the carbon filament lamp on the Variac at a low voltage, just so the inrush current doesn't blow the filament. Being such an old light bulb, don't want to destroy this one. And yeah, it looks rather beautiful sitting on the bench running. Well, thanks for watching, folks, and. Now uh, we'll catch you next time, hopefully with some more little projects that I'll dig up. Take care and see you later.